everyone, I'm Teresa Strasser. Welcome to The List. Don't panic, you're gonna be fine. You're in my minivan now. You have swagger? No, I had it. I took a 10-day course of antibiotics and I <laughs> felt fine ever since. I miss you every day. Every day? Every other day. You look really good in armor. Easy. Asking for a friend. Uh -huh. Does this pair well with Xanax? Uh <laughs> In your 20s, you want a guy who's good between the sheets, and in your 30s, you want a guy with good sheets. <laughs> I declare my independence from the dignity I had five minutes ago. What I love about super wealthy people is that they find new ways to make me feel small. Now I feel like <laughs> Now I feel like I Naming your child is your first important act as a parent. In New Zealand, parents have to run their name choices by the government, and that is why six kids are not named Lucifer. Seriously. Other rejected names just released by the country's registrar, Mafia No Fear, For Real, and Anal. Wait, what's wrong with that? Oh, right. The Declaration of Independence promises us life, liberty, and the pursuit of goods and services at affordable prices, and that is where the 99 cents only store comes in. This is a day to celebrate freedom. Now, 99 cents isn't free, but it's pretty close. <laughs> Feel the quality. It's just that you can find this elsewhere for almost $9. I just got a rash on my hand. <laughs> no, no. Do you have 99 cent lotion? God bless America. Yes. But this was made in China. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. I believe this is um, how they signed the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Research by University of Maryland's Dr. John Robinson claims mothers aren't working nearly as many hours as they think they are. We decided to put one of our regular contributors on the case. TV and radio host Teresa Strasser is a working mom herself, and she was determined to find all of this leisure time. Hi, Dr. Phil. So apparently I have 30 to 40 hours of free time a week. Look at this, I can read. I figured out a way to read. The problem is you can't stop bouncing. You stop bouncing and it's all over. Getting a little motion sick, I'm gonna be honest. This is very lead, this is leisure. This oh God, come here, baby. Oh, okay, as a working mom, here's how I feel about that 30, 40 hours of free time. If you're on the front lines and nobody's shooting at you, I guess technically that's leisure time. But are you relaxed? No, you're just sitting there waiting for the next ambush. <laughs> Teresa's new book is called Exploiting My Baby Because It's Exploiting Me. You will laugh till you are sick, I swear. Our next guest is an Emmy Award winning writer and she recently became a first time mother. Her new book, Exploiting My Baby Because It's Exploiting Me, is in stores now. Please welcome <laughs> Teresa Strasser. Welcome. It's a funny title. What piece of advice do you wish you had heard when you were pregnant, there's going to be a moment about three weeks after your child is born. You will be sitting on your front stoop. I'm you will scared. be crying. And you will think to yourself, when are his parents coming to pick him up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, something about watching yeah. an adult movie Another for guy up it. Yes. Yeah. Make somehow a competitive thing happen in your body. Oh. And so so doesn't more... it make the sperm stronger yes. so it gets right there? That's it. That's it. <laughs> Who knew? And you put that in your book. Yeah, you know what? I'm like, I'm like, you know, the Woodward and Bernstein of um, bodily functions. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be okay to masticate in public? That's nasty. No. Something I love to do. <laughs> should you masticate at a restaurant? No. <laughs> I just did that at Chipotle. <laughs> Would you guys ever want to masticate at the same time? <laughs> we were talking about chewing. You know we were talking about chewing. Angina. Is that a body part? <laughs> So you know it's chest pain. Yes. You guys are good. I'm heart nurse. Oh! <laughs> I got my TV start writing for When Ben Signs yes, Money. Yes, we know. Really, Jimmy really. Kimmel was the co-host. Mm -hmm. And now I currently work with Jimmy's BFF, Adam Carolla, on the radio. Yes, we know, Teresa. <laughs> so I actually got an invitation to this party. You were invited to the party? Yeah. You had to clean up the tables afterwards. Yeah. But I'm still invited to the party. You got to bring a date? No. I just tried to get an interview with Adam Carolla. Couldn't do it. He blew you off? I swear. <laughs> I couldn't make this up. Well, you're going to have to punish him tomorrow How? on the air. I miss you like like when banks are open. Okay, but they're open on Saturdays now. Okay, then when the bank drive throughs are open, that's, that's, when, that's when I yearn. Teresa Strasser! <laughs>
Valentine's Day. It comes every year. It doesn't matter where you are in your relationship. And it puts huge pressure on a lot of people, especially if you've just started dating. So how do you not get swept up in all the boxes of chocolate and red roses and champagne? I think you got to celebrate Valentine's Day on your own terms. So we tell Anne, Elisa, Chris, and Michelle, dial down the pressure. Just have a good time. Exactly. I'm all about the dirty martinis. The dirtier, the better. There's an intrinsic grace and dignity and class about you. Yeah. Three drinks ago. It's just very hard not to have lewd thoughts. Well, <laughs> more of a figure. You know, that guy's like the annoying guy at the orgy that everyone wishes would leave. <laughs> How much did you say this cost? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? That spit take just cost me $4.27. I'm gonna need a lot of nouns from you. People, places, okay. and things. I know nouns Just are. get creative. <laughs> Wow. Sorry. Put me in my people place and thing. The one that you're pouring right there is uh, peanut butter and jelly. And it basically tastes just like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. It's like drowning my inner child sorrow. <laughs> Without crust or with? <laughs> Please take the crust off this. <laughs> so when did you first start to sense that you were tall? Oh! <laughs> the good thing about turning 65 is you get a discount when you ride the crazy train. What are three of the lessons you've learned about America? Uh, listen, it's possible you can come back later because there's a journalist uh, who will be interviewing me, yeah. I, I am a journalist. What? <laughs> yeah, when, when you just leave the funny parts, it seems like this is a great show. I'm yeah. digging it right now. I'm sorry. So oh. You better be sorry. <laughs> well. You get one take and that's it. Here's a big question. How does your love story I love you. I'm gonna miss you. You're so cute. You're so cute. Is it over? It's over.